out to all my guys and goddesses checking out this video. I am C, the spiritual goddess, here with your new moon in Leo message. Yes, guys, leave me a moon emoji if you are happy to be here, if you are here checking this out. Also, don't forget to hit that like button as that really does help me out. I decided to go ahead and do this video voiceover style. Today is August 4th. It's winding down this evening and I'm sitting on my porch and I don't know why I just got the vibes to pull some cards. I know I explained to you guys that we wanted to go ahead and talk about the Lionsgate portal and the new moon in Leo. Uh, this is a very special moon. So before we get into our reading and the cards we have, let's go ahead and talk about the Lion's Gate. So the new moon in Leo happens 9.51 a.m. August 8th. It's very special about this new moon because a few things. One, the new moon is sitting in its sign during its season. So we are in the midst of Leo season right now. If you know Leo, the Leo with the Leo energy is all about. Leo is all about shining a light in and certain areas of our life that's most dear to us. Another another thing is this new moon Leo falls on the eighth. So if you're into numerology, you know eight is a very special number. In fact, eight is considered one of the luckiest numbers in numerology. It usually corresponds with wealth. Eight is also, if you go deeper, it represents infinity. Eight is also a good symbol for prosperity, abundance and prosperity. So that is also a big deal. And then we get to the Lionsgate portal. Now, this is the part where it's like, if you don't do anything... On the 8th, if you don't do anything for any new moon, make sure on the 8th, you are actually setting some type of intentions, okay? So, let's talk about what this Lion's Gate. So, Lion's Gate portal um, happens on the 8th. What that represents, basically the sun and Cyrus, which is the one of the brightest stars behind the sun in our galaxy they will come aligned with the lion's gate for centuries our ancestors if you look it up celebrated this lion's gate because it's thought to believe that this is the time where the veil is in between the spiritual world in the physical realm so this is definitely the time if you want to necessarily start an ancestor altar if you want to communicate with your angels and your guides to make those goals come true this is the time and then we're getting on sunday which is the day of the sun leo is ruled by the sun this is just even more a powerful time to set those intentions to release that negative those negative traits if you've been suffering from anxiety this is a good time to to set intentions to release that but this is also the best time to set intentions for wealth abundance and prosperity i wanted to come on and actually i was just so moved um you guys know i am a leo if you don't know <laughs> i was so moved to really really pull some cards and get the energy going because i do feel like for a lot of us before i was like doing the reading i, I sat and meditate and what spirit is saying is a lot of us are manifesting healing spirit is telling us that this new moon is going to of course this new moon is going to be all about releasing those things that no longer serve you so let's go ahead and get into the cards um the first set we have is the queen of the moon oracle cards the first card i got was release boundaries and then pleasure what spirit is telling me is that a lot of you have been asking for healing whether it's your heart whether it's physical whether it's mental i feel like spirit is saying and while i'm saying this i'm getting an overwhelming emotion of kind of anxiety kind of fear of what the future may hold a lot of you i feel like your heart has been heavy and i feel like this may have been due to surroundings like i'm picking up the energy of, of shadow sight right so maybe for a lot of you spirit is saying that 
your trauma has been coming up in your life in some way, in some physical form. So like I said, it could be actual, your physical health has been taken a form of, but spirit is, is telling me that I feel like a lot of you have been just lately ready to release all of that. If you've been struggling with poverty, spirit is saying that is a result of unreleased trauma that you've carried with you. I know a lot of times we, you know, look at the physical and money, but that fear of lack, that lacking feeling, that lacking feeling, what spirit is telling me has a lot to do with past traumas. I am getting that during this new moon, a lot of you are going to be releasing that. I'm getting that spirit is calling on you to look at your life and where you can make boundaries, healthy boundaries for your life. I'm getting for some of you, maybe a setting boundaries with your family. I don't know why I'm getting the energy of possibly saying no to family. But within that, within me saying, placing those boundaries, being open to what spirit is moving you to, spirit is also asking you not to take things so serious. I don't know why I'm getting the energy for a lot of you. What you need to release and what you need to let go is just your fear of letting go. Because I'm getting for a lot of you, I got the pleasure card. So sometimes we work, 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 work so hard. And sometimes we, and not just really work, sometimes we go through the world on go sometimes. And we develop our personalities based on our environments and and our circumstances to the point it's our whole identity but what happens is sometimes we get lost within the world because subconsciously we are programmed as soon as we come on this earth right spirit is saying though if you allow yourself to release and just live authentically true to yourself and not what you think you should be doing but just what you feel, even if you don't know, even if you feel like, you know, last time I let let myself be free and I got out of control. Spirit is saying that be open to the fact that maybe the way you view things, maybe, maybe the way you view things, I'm not going to say it's not in reality, but it's a little harsh on yourself. And Spirit is telling you, you need to Relax that because you are not that same person. I know it may feel like that. I know sometimes, guys, we make mistakes. But you have to understand you're much, much more wiser, much, much more mature. mature. And, even, and even so, you're in a different place than you was then. You have to forgive yourself. Forgive yourself and give yourself permission to just be whatever nature calls you whatever you feel comes natural to yourself Oof, this is a very very deep reading <laughs> so let's go ahead and pull some cards we're going to work with our energy oracle let's go ahead and see what we are manifesting this new moon so Looking at these energy oracle cards, Spirit is telling me we are simply putting it, manifesting a new path for ourselves. I'm getting the energy of someone who, and whoever's watching this, is a fighter. Someone who, they create their own lane when there's no lane, quote unquote, available. And I'm getting for a lot of you. You're doing just that during this season. I'm picking up the energy of this energy is and maybe you haven't realized that. But spirit is saying that you are already you have everything you already need. But I'm picking up someone who is ready to take control of their life and picking up someone who. And if you're not feeling this right now, I do feel like your spirit is calling on you to get back there. But I feel like someone this is someone who they also take accountability you're very much as someone who takes accountability for your choices 
And what spirit is saying, though, is I don't know. I'm getting this. Don't let anyone make you feel any type of way about your past. And don't hold yourself up to unrealistic expectations. You do yourself a dishonor when you do that. That's what spirit is saying. And I feel like with this new moon in Leo, a lot of you are going to actually really see the beauty within yourself, the beauty within everything that you've been through. Yes, you are creating a new life for yourself and a new journey. But spirit is saying it's okay to go back to the past every now and then and look at it from a place of admiration. I don't know if that's the word I'm getting. Like, wow, I I did that because the past is what made you who you are now. I do see a lot of you manifesting new connections in your life, new love, new love. I see a lot of you also manifesting your soul tribe. I see a lot of you manifesting a clean it's like your there's this new moon leo is going to clean house for a lot of you whether you are intentionally doing it or or subconsciously or it's not intentional i feel like this is going to be like a clean slate a a lot of you are going to be cleaning taking inventory of your life like I, we like to call it here on the your cha- on this channel um a lot of you are going to be don't be surprised if some relationships may end and it's because spirit is making a new clean slate for you to ascend and level up. Wow, guys. Okay, so let's get into the final messages that we have. Um, I did pull some cards from the Moonology Oracle deck. Don't forget, if you do want to book a reading with me, I do currently have some new readings and services. Um, actually, I have a new moon, full moon service for $25, where basically we go into how you can harness this energy in order to manifest your goals and also release any things that's not serving you. Um, I do include a customized ritual for you um, with that. So, and it's all done by email. If you are interested, the link to that information will be below. We got some interesting cards. One of the cards that actually stands out is the actual new moon and Leo card. And it says, confidence is your key to success, right? And then it says, take time to breathe out under that. We also got conclusions are within reach. And we have worked through your fears. You are very close to achieving your goal. And then a time to give rather than take. What spirit is telling me is, now is the time for you to relax. Spirit is, uh, is saying that. I know we talked about earlier, letting things go, letting things flow. I do feel for a lot of you, the anxieties that you've been having um, surrounding whatever stressful period you've been going through, or maybe you've been having anxieties on if you're going to achieve your goal. Spirit is telling you that there's no need to have anxieties. You're definitely close to finishing your goal. On the bottom of the deck, we have have faith in your dreams. So for a lot of you, I'm picking up this energy is one of those things if... It has to do with like your lifestyle, maybe your goals you want to achieve. But spirit is saying you're close to achieving it. However, by you having that doubt and anxiety and that fear surrounding it, you're not helping yourself or you're, you're not helping the situation. Spirit is saying now is the time for you to relax, let your hair down have fun but also within doing that it's also time for you to take action for those of you who have been possibly wanting to start a new project maybe you want to start a new youtube channel maybe you want to start um some new content maybe you want to just uh, start a new job maybe it's maybe you want to start showing off your body maybe you've lost some weight maybe you um you know want to just be the person that you know you can be spirit is telling you now is the time you know a, a lot of us sometimes say once i get this i'm going to do that once i no, that's not it now is the time babies take advantage of it so this reading was a good reading i hope you guys enjoy the voiceover reading let me know i'm thinking about doing this because it's very convenient um the voiceovers let me know if this is cool 
um also make sure you guys share this video thumbs up guys thumbs up this i can't ask you guys enough to thumbs up my videos and share it it really helps me here on youtube so um and also make sure you guys join me for our live stream our love live stream this friday we're going to be getting into your love life and what you can do to attract and manifest love so until then all my gods and goddesses don't forget to always rock your crown see you in the next video peace